Hello out there. Welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys channel. I'm Eric and in today's video I'm going to introduce you to a less common but useful chicken breed. Many people assume a Rhode Island White is a color variation of a Rhode Island Red, but not so. The Rhode Island Red and the Rhode Island White were both created as a dual purpose chicken breed in Rhode Island, but they were created from mixing different breeds of chickens. Stick around and learn all about this interesting dual purpose chicken breed the Rhode Island White is coming up next. While we don't have exact records, it's believed that the Rhode Island Reds were created using Java's, Malays, Brown Leghorns, and other breeds. The Rhode Island White breed was created by crossing Partridge Cochins with White Wyandettes and Rose Combed White Leghorns. These crossings were made beginning in 1888 by John Alonzo Jacoy, who lived in the state of Rhode Island near Peacedale. Originally, the bird sported a small to medium rose comb, and later a medium to large single comb became available. Initially, barely distinguishable from a white Wyandette or a white rock, over time, selection for the sturdy brick-like shape of the Rhode Island Red resulted in the Rhode Island White becoming a distinct breed by 1903. The Rose Comb Rhode Island White Chickens were admitted to the American Poultry Association Standard of Perfection in 1922. Today the Rose Comb variety is difficult to find as most sellers offer the Single Comb variety which has never been accepted into the APA Standards of Perfection. Moderately popular up until the 1960s, Rhode Island Whites are now a relatively rare breed and the breed is listed as Watch by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. The breed is also available as a bantam. The Rhode Island White is a moderately sized, completely white bird with males weighing 8.5 pounds and females 6.5 pounds. They have long, broad, and deep bodies that are carried horizontally, giving them a brick-like appearance, similar to the popular Rhode Island Red breed. Their breasts are deep, full, and well-rounded. Their heads are fairly deep and tend to be flat on top rather than round. They have a bright red rose comb or single comb, depending upon the variety, as well as red wattles and earlobes, reddish bay eyes, yellow legs and feet, and a yellow beak. Like the Rhode Island Red, Rhode Island White chickens are dependable and solid egg layers, averaging about 250 large brown eggs a year. Some have been known to lay over 300 eggs in a year. Rarely broody, Rhode Island Whites are one of the very best wintertime laying breeds, and speaking of winter, Rhode Island Whites are extremely cold hardy and do well in cold climates, particularly if you can source rose combed hens in place of the single comb variety often marketed through hatcheries. In addition to being cold hardy, these birds hold up well in the heat. Great foragers, they do well in confinement as well as free range setups. Rhode Island White chickens are known to be assertive with and in some cases aggressive to other more timid breeds. They also tend to be noisier than your average chicken. They like to talk and squawk and gossip. Rhode Island Whites will squawk loudly at any potential threats, warning the entire flock of danger, which can be a good thing if you free range your chicken flock and deal with predators, but also a bad thing if you have nearby neighbors or really enjoy peace and quiet. Rhode Island White chickens were also bred as meat birds. They have deep, well-developed breast meat and mature quite early. The meat quality is considered excellent. Also, you can cross Rhode Island Reds and Rhode Island Whites to create Red Sexlink hybrid chicken. So that's the Rhode Island White chicken breed, a productive, dual-purpose bird that really shines with its wintertime egg production ability. Do you have Rhode Island Whites? Let us know your experience with this breed by leaving a comment below. We appreciate those who like the videos and who have subscribed to our channel. Until next time, happy hobby farming. Go Bengals!